Right, so I just want to make clear at the start, I've basically got this idea for this video from watching Alex Griffin's video. He's an Ipswich Town YouTuber and he made a video about Frank Lampard rejecting Ipswich at the start of last season and what would have happened if Frank Lampard had have gone to Ipswich instead of Derby. So I'm going to leave the link to his video in the description, go and check that one out, basically where I got the idea for this video from. Right, I'll set the scene for you if you don't already know. Harry Redknapp did an interview where he was discussing how Frank Lampard got the Derby County job and he mentioned how I think Harry Redknapp had managed to get Lampard an interview with Ipswich and I watched Alex Griffin's video and he said he got down to the final four candidates so obviously Frank Lampard had done well and he got offered the job of Ipswich Town Manager, he rejected it because he told Harry Redknapp there was no money there to spend on transfers and to bring his own players in so it would be tough and it would be a very tough start for Frank Lampard in his first job but you know, it's up to you to decide whether he was right or wrong in that one. And then, Harry Redknapp, he lives on the same, well, he lives on the same street as one of Mel Morris's properties. Mel Morris is part of Derby County. And Harry Redknapp spoke to Mel Morris and managed to get Frank Lampard an interview. Apparently, Mel Morris wanted another experienced manager now at Derby. We've had many experienced managers who are used to the English league, but we obviously haven't been promoted in over a decade now or relegated in over a decade, so we've just stayed in the championship. And in the end, Harry Redknapp got Frank Lampard an interview with Derby County and that went really well and Frank Lampard chose to come and manage us instead of Ipswich. Now, I'm not going to say whether Derby County or Ipswich was a better choice. Obviously, in the end of the day, Ipswich got relegated last season. Frank Lampard managed to take us to the playoff final last season, but we didn't get promoted. And obviously, he's now at Chelsea. Now, what I want to make clear is there's one thing that is obvious. Frank Lampard would have always been going to Chelsea at the end of last season, no matter what, in my opinion. Even if he'd have won that Wembley playoff final, I think Frank Lampard still would have gone to Chelsea. It's his dream job, and I can't really blame him for that. When he first came to Derby, I knew that at some point he'd be leaving us or he'd be going to Chelsea at some point, whether that would be leaving us or another club. Now, what I want to talk about today is what would have happened if Frank Lampard had have chose Ipswich? What would have happened to Derby? Now, in Alex Griffin's video, he talked about what would have happened with Ipswich. I'm going to be talking about what would have happened with Derby. Now, would we have been as successful as we were last season, beating Manchester United in the League Cup? Would we have done that? I don't think so. You know, there's definitely a team spirit there that I haven't seen with any other manager that Frank Lampard bought to Derby. I think that's what contributed to getting us to the playoff final. Would we have beaten Leeds in the same manner that we did? I don't think so. I think that's a real credit to Frank Lampard and obviously the players, but Frank Lampard, Jody Morris and his staff, Shay Given, because he's a real man-manager, Frank Lampard. He gets the best out of the players that he has. You know, We saw the likes of Jack Marrett and Martin Waggon really turn up last season in their debut seasons for us. Jaden Bogle make a great breakthrough season with us. And you can't forget the three lone players that we had. Harry Wilson, Mason Mount and Fikeo Tamori. They were integral in getting us into the playoffs. Do I think we would have made the playoffs? Absolutely not. Obviously, like I've said, Frank Lampard's a great man-manager. I've not seen a manager at Derby like him who can man-manage like he can. And at the end of the day, that squad that we had last season... You know, it's similar to this season with a couple of new additions this season, a couple of losses from last season. It's just not a team that would have probably made the playoffs, unfortunately. Not enough quality in there. You know, you're looking at likes, once again, those three lone players, like I said, they are key. We would not have made the playoffs without them because at times they dragged us through games. Now, if he'd have gone to Ipswich, I do believe he probably would have kept Ipswich up now. I don't know the ins and outs of Ipswich's squad, you know, every single player. But I understand that they've got a couple of decent plays in League One. Then players are really turning up and looking decent. So I do believe he probably would have kept them up. And the same three loan players would have gone to Ipswich if they had the budget to get them in on loan. Yeah, yeah, I believe they would have. And I believe they would have stayed up. Derby, I think we would have got a mid-table finish. Nothing special. Probably nothing special in the Cup. You know, obviously, in the FA Cup last season, we did do... OK, you know, we beat the likes of Southampton in the third round, then beat Accrington in the fourth round. Then we got Brighton and obviously lost 2-1 away there. But we did reasonably well beating uh, two Premier League sides in the cup competitions. Obviously, Manchester United very nearly getting something against Chelsea. That was a fantastic game. And then obviously beating Southampton in the FA Cup. Would we have had any of that without Frank Lampard? I think we, you know, we could have beaten Southampton. 
without Frank Lampard. They weren't fantastic. Would we have seen the likes of Jaden Bogle have such a good breakthrough season? I think he would have had a good breakthrough season, no matter who he's got. He's a quality player, but I just don't think he would have had as of good of a breakthrough season. The likes of Jack Marriott and Martin Wagon being as clinical as they were last season. No, I don't think they would have. Obviously, this season, they haven't been fantastic. I know Jack Maritz doesn't seem to be in Koku's plans. He doesn't seem to be a player that Koku favours over Martin Waghorn. Martin Waghorn this season, I saw a stat the other day. He scored 12 goals, which is decent for a striker. You know, it's all right. But he's top of the missed chances, like key missed chances table at 14. That's an astonishing stat for a striker. To miss 14 key chances in a season, it, it, it's baffling and last season he wouldn't have missed that many he was he was vital Martin Wagon and Jack Marriott last season so saying all that I think we would have had a very different season last season without Frank Lampard would Ipswich have had a vastly different season I think so too I think they would have stayed up we wouldn't have had as much success Ipswich would have had more success but what it comes down to is at the end of the day I don't think Frank Lampard would have got Ipswich anywhere near the playoffs with the team that they had unfortunately if he'd have not been with us, we wouldn't have got near the playoffs, in my opinion. At the end of the day, both clubs would still be sat in the championship. Ipswich have obviously gone down to League One. So, that's a big talking point. But, at the end of the day, I just want to ask you lot. Do you think Frank Lampard made the right decision in coming to Derby over Ipswich? Do you think Frank Lampard could have been more successful with Ipswich if he'd have gone there? At the end of the day, Frank Lampard was a great manager for us, in my opinion. For one season... We had some really good memories, beating Norwich, who were top of the league at their place at the time, 4-3, after being behind twice or three times. Beating Leeds in the playoffs, that was unbelievable, wasn't it? Frank Lampard gave us some great memories, and I think he would have given Ipswich some great memories if he'd have given, gone there. The Siri there. But if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'm checking now, we've just hit 1.8k, that's brilliant. Roll on to 1.9k and obviously then to 2k, which is mental. Don't forget to follow the social medias in the description that I've got in there. I'm all active on them. Leave a comment. You know, I asked you a couple of questions in this video. Leave a comment about what you think. I'll see you in the next one.